One of the key technologies that has been used by NASA for decades to power its satellites and spacecrafts is nickel hydrogen batteries. These batteries are incredibly reliable and long lasting, and they can withstand the harsh conditions of space for decades. But what makes nickel hydrogen batteries so special? And how can a battery that was developed for space travel be used to store renewable energy on Earth? Want to know the answer? Then stay tuned till the end. Imagine a technology developed by NASA originally for satellites, and now a company called Enervenue is bringing this technology down to Earth to transform how we store energy. This technology involves using nickel-hydrogen batteries, which were initially created for space missions due to their durability and ability to hold a lot of energy. These batteries are commonly used in satellites and spacecraft because they are super reliable and can last for decades without needing much maintenance. Now someone has suggested that these batteries could be a game-changer for renewable energy and big-scale energy storage on Earth. Back in 1970, when there was a lot of competition between the United States and other countries in space exploration, the space race, the US government wanted to improve satellite communications. A group called ComSat Laboratories, following President Kennedy's orders, started looking into this. During their research, they came up with a cool idea. They combined parts from two different types of batteries, nickel-cadmium batteries and hydrogen fuel cells. It was like mixing and matching the best features of each. This combination became the prototype for what we now know as nickel-hydrogen batteries. In simpler terms, they took the good stuff from one type of battery and the good stuff from another, creating something new and groundbreaking. They tested it, and it worked well. And that's how nickel-hydrogen batteries started. Later on, these batteries proved to be really useful in powering satellites in space. Now these batteries are being considered for use on Earth, especially for storing energy from renewable sources like solar and wind. But the question is, if they're so perfect for this, why haven't we used them for regular energy needs until now? Well, it's mainly because they were initially designed for space, and making them practical for everyday use on Earth took some time and effort. Engineers had to figure out how to adapt them to our needs, like making them cost-effective and easy to manage on a large scale. Well, if you're enjoying our content and getting some value, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, with the growing interest in renewable energy and the need for efficient and reliable ways to store that energy, researchers are looking at these batteries with fresh eyes. They might just be the key to solving some of the challenges we face in storing energy from sources like the sun and the wind. It's like taking technology that worked really well in space and bringing it down to Earth to help us with our energy needs. Nickel hydrogen batteries have been the go-to power source for many space missions, like the International Space Station, the Hubble Telescope, and even the Mars Rover. These batteries are like the superheroes of space because they can handle tough conditions like really hot or cold temperatures and keep working for a long time. Even after being used a lot, these batteries can still keep about 86% of their power. Plus, they don't need much maintenance, which is great when you're dealing with things far away in space. Unlike some other batteries that get finicky in hot or cold weather, Nickel hydrogen batteries work well in all kinds of temperatures. This makes them perfect for use in places with different climates without needing extra heating or cooling. One big secret to why these batteries work so well is the super high pressure hydrogen gas they use. It's like squeezing a lot of energy into a small space. This high pressure makes the battery store a bunch of energy, even more than some other types of batteries. Even though they use high-pressure hydrogen, which might sound a bit risky, these batteries have been tested thoroughly. Even if you poke them with nails or shoot at them, they don't explode or catch fire. They stay at a safe temperature, and the pressure and power go away if they get damaged. The inside of the battery has a kind of sponge-like structure that lets the important parts mix and react, creating the power we need. Even though they might not store as much energy in a small space as some other batteries, like lithium-ion, these nickel-hydrogen batteries are tough and perfect for storing a lot of energy in a big place, like the power grid that provides electricity to whole cities. 
Some batteries develop problems over time, but not these. They don't form harmful structures that can ruin them, and they're straightforward to make because they don't have complicated moving parts. The main ingredients, nickel and hydrogen, are easy to find, so we won't run out of them. This also makes these batteries more affordable compared to some other fancy types. The stuff inside these batteries, like hydrogen and water, is not harmful to the environment. This fits well with the idea of using energy sources that are friendly to the planet. While nickel-hydrogen batteries have many good qualities, like being safe and reliable, their main problem is that they're quite expensive. This is because they use pricey materials like platinum, especially in a part called the platinum catalyst. This high cost has made it challenging for these batteries to be used widely on Earth. So even though they're great in many ways, the expense has slowed down how much we can use them. In a venue, a company working on making nickel-hydrogen batteries more popular has two main plans to make them cheaper. They're building a really big factory, about the size of a million square feet, to produce these batteries in large quantities. This helps make the process more efficient, like making a bunch of cookies all at once instead of one by one, which makes the batteries cost less. In a venue claims they've found a new material, created by a smart professor from Stanford, to replace platinum. Even though they haven't told us exactly what it is, using different materials that aren't as expensive could bring down the cost of making these batteries. So, by making a lot of batteries at once and finding cheaper materials, InnoVenue is trying to solve the problem of nickel-hydrogen batteries being too expensive. This means we might see more of these batteries in everyday use, because they won't cost as much. So, this nickel-hydrogen battery is like the best of both worlds, taking the strength of nickel-cadmium batteries and hydrogen fuel cells while avoiding some of their weaknesses. Hope you enjoyed this video! Subscribe to my channel for more videos about science and technology. Thanks for watching!